Ford Motors has had some of the most successful car releases of 2022, but things have not been without their problems. Ford has also been experiencing a wave of recalls much larger than any of its competitors, and the bad news is getting worse as the brand just confirmed one of its largest recalls. Join us today as we explain what the Ford CEO has just said about its largest global recall. Ford recalls this year have been out of control. So far, they've already issued 52 recalls across their different models, and now they're faced with one of their largest yet. Most of the time, the recalls are over something relatively small, like a window not meeting regulation by a few millimeters or a brake light flickering. But this one is quite serious, as it's a fire risk that could ignite the engine when driving. Ford Motor Company is now recalling more than 634,000 SUVs across the globe because a cracked fuel injector might leak fumes onto a heated engine and start fires. The 2020 to 2023 model year Bronco Sport and Escape SUVs with three-cylinder 1.5-liter engines are included in the recall, according to America's number two automaker by sales. Many of these vehicles were also recalled in April because of an oil separator housing could crack and develop a leak, increasing the risk of an engine fire. That recall in April affected over 737,000 vehicles. Several 2020 to 2022 Ford Escapes and a few 2021 to 2022 Ford Bronco Sports were included in the first recall announced in April. The total number of vehicles included in the recall, which only applied to variants of these models with a 1.5-liter turbocharged three-cylinder, was 345,451 for the two models. These cars were recalled due to a potential oil leak issue. Ford's recall documents explain that the engine oil separator housing installed on these vehicles may crack and develop an oil leak. Ford stated that the leaking oil may leak onto other engine components, increasing the risk of an engine fire. Thankfully, there wasn't any report of injury or death as a result of the oil leak issue. That same month, Ford issued another recall that covered a wide range of trucks and SUVs as it was all related to the trailer braking software installed in these vehicles. The 2021 to 2022 Ford F-150, 2022 Ford Maverick, 2022 Ford Expedition, 2022 Lincoln Navigator, and many levels of the 2022 F-Series Super Duty, including the F-250, F-350, F-450, and F-550 were all affected. This recall affects a total of 391,836 vehicles. Those two recalls took a total of 737,287 vehicles in April alone. Ford stated that these new recalls were issued because a damaged fuel injector in the SUVs might result in fuel or fuel vapor accumulating close to hot surfaces while the engines are running, possibly starting a fire under the hood. Once repairs are available, dealers will update the vehicle software to detect whether a fuel injector is broken and notify drivers through a dashboard message. If a pressure drop in the fuel rail is detected, engine power will automatically be reduced to minimize any risk while also allowing customers to drive to a safe location and stop the vehicle and arrange for service, Ford added. Although repairs aren't available, owners should arrange service with a preferred dealer where they are, according to Jim Azuz, Executive Director of Customer Experience. From December 19th, owners will get letters of notification. Owners of SUVs can receive a free loaner from the dealer or free pickup and delivery. The injectors will be inspected by dealers and replaced as necessary. Ford also announced that it would extend its warranty coverage for damaged fuel injectors for up to 15 years. To enable the detection of a cracked injector, dealers will upgrade the vehicle's engine control software and there will be a dashboard message that will tell drivers to get service. Additionally, Ford stated that the engine power will be reduced if there is a pressure drop in the injectors to reduce risk and allow drivers to stop in a safe location and ask for help. Ford stated, if a pressure drop in the fuel rail is detected, engine power will automatically be reduced to minimize any risk while also allowing customers to drive to a safe location and stop the vehicle and arrange for service. Furthermore, a tube will be installed to drain fuel from the cylinder head and away from hot surfaces. Ford claimed that it is not replacing the injectors because the failure rate that results in leaks is low, an estimated 0.38% for models made in 2020 and 0.22% for those made in 2021 to 2022. The rate is for 15 years or 150,000 miles or 240,000 kilometers. 
The Dearborn, Michigan-based manufacturer said on Thursday, November 24th, that while fires are rare and typically don't happen when the engines are off, it is not advising owners to stop driving the vehicles or parking them outside. Ford, however, said that it had received 20 reports of fires, three of which had started in nearby structures. Also, the company claimed to have four claims of fires that were detected less than five minutes after the engines were shut off. In addition, Ford has 43 legal claims related to the issue and four injury claims that do not involve burns. Ford has lost a staggering amount of money this year, and this loss grew even more in the third quarter. The automaker is experiencing supply chain issues and has now written off its investment in a self-driving technology company. The major issue for Ford this year has been recalls, which further plagued them in November. On Wednesday, October 26th, Ford Motor announced that it had lost money in the third quarter as a result of increased costs that had given a negative impact on the business and the write-down of the value of its investment in a self-driving technology company. Ford has had the most recalls of any automaker this year, so it stands to reason that they have also suffered significant financial losses in fixing the associated issues. The manufacturer reported an $827 million loss as opposed to a $1.8 billion profit in the third quarter of 2021. Its overall revenue for the three months ending in September was $39.4 billion, compared with $35.7 billion in the year-ago period. Ford reported shipping 1.1 million cars and light trucks in the quarter, compared to slightly more than 1 million shipments during the same period last year. The company's operating profit in North America fell, it lost money in China, and its mobility division, which has been working to create self-driving cars and other innovative commercial ventures. To concentrate on the driver assistance technology that the company is developing internally, Ford announced that it was closing down its self-driving technology subsidiary, Argo AI, which also counts Volkswagen as an investor. Ford's investment in the company was written down by $2.7 billion due to that choice. The company has also said that it would hire some Argo staff. Ford is shifting its emphasis away from fully autonomous vehicles and toward advanced driver assistance systems that enable drivers to take their hands off the steering wheel while still keeping their eyes on the road, according to John Lawler, the company's chief financial officer. He said about technology enabling drivers to rely on the car to drive itself in specific locations or under optimal weather circumstances, it's clear that profitable L4 systems are a long way away. In September, Ford warned that spending on components and materials would be $1 billion more than expected, indicating that prices rose quickly in the third quarter. It said adjusting earnings before interest and taxes for the three months would range from $1.4 billion to $1.7 billion. It earned $3 billion in adjusted earnings a year ago. Ford, like other automakers, has had difficulty adjusting to the interruptions brought on by the coronavirus pandemic, including a global supply chip scarcity. The company's production has fluctuated monthly depending on how easy or difficult it is to get parts. Ford stated that it expected adjusted earnings before interest and taxes for the entire year to be $11.5 billion when it had previously expected adjusted earnings of $11 billion to $12.5 billion. On Wednesday, October 26th, Ford announced that it had agreed a deal to sell its 49% stake in a Russian joint venture, Solars Ford. After Russia invaded Ukraine, Ford ceased operations there. On Wednesday, Mercedes-Benz announced that it would leave Russia and sell its holdings there. Ford's Russian venture partner agreed to buy the stake for a nominal fee. Still, the company retained the option to repurchase it within five years. While all that is going on, Ford is still struggling with its recall issues, but the good news is that none of the reported incidents has led to any deaths. If you own a 2020 to 2023 model year Bronco Sport or Escape SUV with a three-cylinder 1.5-liter engine, then arrange a service with a preferred dealer when the repairs become available. Owners will begin to get letters of notification from Ford on December 19th. Thank you very much for watching today. We truly appreciate it if you'd leave a like and consider subscribing so you're always in the loop for the latest EV and tech news.